A crash course in forces and motion with Max Axiom, super scientist. About Max, real name, Maxwell J. Axiom. Hometown, Seattle, Washington. Height, 6 foot 1. Weight, 192 pounds. Eyes, brown. Hair, none. Super capabilities. Super intelligence, able to shrink to the size of an atom. Sunglasses give X-ray vision. Lab coat allows for travel through time and space. Origin. Since birth, Max Axiom seemed destined for greatness. His mother, a marine biologist, taught her son about the mysteries of the sea. His father, a nuclear physicist and volunteer park ranger, schooled Max on the wonders of earth and sky. One day on a wilderness hike, a mega-charged lightning bolt struck Max with blinding fury. When he awoke, Max discovered a newfound energy and set out to learn as much about science as possible. He travelled the globe, earning degrees in every aspect of the field. Upon his return, he was ready to share his knowledge and new identity with the world he had become. Max Axiom, super scientist. Forces that move us. Super scientist Max Axiom jumps right into the world of forces and motion at an amusement park. What a perfect day. Scraw. Even though everything feels turned upside down. Spinning, flying, jumping, and falling are just some of the amazing ways to move. But there's a lot of science behind the zoom zoom around us. In fact, the world is full of all kinds of motion. Everything that moves needs a force to get it moving. Back for another jump already? You bet. A force is any push or pull on an object. Bungee jumping depends on a force called gravity. It pulls objects towards each other, and it keeps us on the earth. Gravity is the reason I fall down, not up or sideways. Phew, moving can be thrilling, but I need a break. Hey, Rosita. What are you doing here? Hello, Max. I'm taking notes for the physics class I teach. Why are you just sitting there? Is something wrong? Once I sit, sometimes it's hard to get moving again. But once I get going, I often can't stop. That's inertia for you. An object at rest tends to stay at rest. An object in motion stays in motion. That's Newton's first law of motion. A still object needs a force to get it moving. Isaac Newton was the first person to realize that certain laws of nature explained all motions on Earth and in space. He was also the first to explain the idea of gravity. Likewise, a moving object needs a force to change its direction slow it down or make it stop. For instance, inertia keeps that stroller rolling. Whee! And another force comes along to stop it. Oh. To cure your inertia, you just need a little push. Come on. Let's go ride on the roller coaster. Let's move. Here we go. I feel like I'm being pushed to the back of my seat. That's inertia. When the ride starts, your body is at rest. When the chair moves forward, your body wants to stay at rest. But the chair moves into you. The chair's forward motion makes you feel like you're being pushed to the back of your seat. Wow, how does this roller coaster go so fast? The force of gravity is increasing our speed. 
Speed is how fast we are going at any given moment. Acceleration is how much speed we pick up as we go down the hill. Acceleration causes us to move more quickly at the bottom of the hill than we did at the top. That bar digging into my stomach must be inertia too. You got it. So the lap bar stopped us from continuing forward on the roller coaster. What keeps that stone from staying in motion? Excellent question. You can't see it, but a force called friction stops the stone. Friction happens when two surfaces rub against each other. On Earth, gravity and friction work together to slow things down and make them stop. Brakes on the roller coaster use friction to slow us down too. Come on, I'll show you how. Each roller coaster's car has two brake fins attached to its underside. As the cars approach the station, these fins slide between two sets of brake rails. I see. When the brake rails squeeze against the fins, friction stops the cars. I had a great time, Rosita, but I've got to run. My nephew's having his birthday party over at Skater's Paradise. See you later, Max.